Are you trucking? Race fans, welcome to the finals of Gravity Throttle Racing here at Chavano Mountain Raceway. I am Aaron Take. And race fans, this is your play-by-play -play host, Richard Gear. We're so excited to have you here. This is it. We have been waiting for this moment. Boy, have we ever. It all comes down to an eight round race, Aaron. These drivers have had to overcome triple elimination in the quarterfinals, and that's James Ironbeard with Ironbeard Customs on the outside lane. Next to him, Bolo Brown with Miniature Car Racing, that number 36 off track. He is in the second lane and in the third lane from the Chase Family Racing is in count driving that custom Chevy. He's got a great suspension. Hope it comes through for him today. And now, on the inside lane, is the returning champion, Boxer, with the Maker's Box. He is also driving an off-track. And Richard is gonna tell you just how they got here. Ladies and gentlemen, it was James Ironbeard through the time trials in the number five slot. In the number 11 was Boxer, 12 was in count, and Bolo Brown was number 15. They advanced through the group racing, double elimination, and now, ladies and gentlemen, after the quarterfinals, they are left standing. This is the first race. Boxers on the inside, then in count. Bolo Brown, James Ironbeard on the outside. And here they go, ladies and gentlemen. James has a good lead, and it's Boxer in the trailing position, but look at Bolo Brown make his way around the Mesa Butte Drift, looking great. Here comes James, so right on his tail. The other drivers in count are behind. And now James is pulling ahead of Bolo Brown. Bolo Brown has second, in count in third. And Boxer is pulling up the rear. James is, whoa, he's flipping the car multiple times. Comes through in first. Bolo Brown in second, in count in third. Here comes Boxer in fourth. Race fans, it was a fantastic and wonderful ride for James Ironbeard, except for one, two, three rolls, managing to make it through the finish line. Bolo Brown has some gorgeous drifting here. Very hard into the retaining wall, but taking the lead because he knows James is fast. And here come the other drivers. Watch carefully as James holds a very straight line, taking advantage of Bolo right there around the big U. And race fans, after the first race, after the first round, James Ironbeard has the lead with four. The drivers are hoping to keep up with this fast dude. And the fast dude is on the inside lane, ladies and gentlemen. Next to him is Boxer, in count, and the white car on the outside is Bolo Brown. In count has the lead, he makes his way looking smooth. He's got the inside line on Mesa Butte. But James Ironbeard is really screaming through. Look at him come around on the Joker lane. And in count seems to have some problems as he spins out. He's affected Bolo Brown. And now in, it's James Ironbeard all by himself around the big U. He's really screaming along fast, spinning around, coming through the finish line. He has got a 23 second run. He has now set another track record. Here comes Boxer into second place. And there's always something about Boxer able to clean up when there's an accident. But race fans, James Ironbeard has broken his own record. He now occupies the top two spots. These drivers are coming into Mesa Butte hot. And we can see it here, maybe a little too fast. James has a clear lead, but oh, we're gonna have to watch in count here as there's our accident we were looking for. Watch carefully, end count, just picking up so much speed, gets caught, he's out of control, trying to regain, but spins the truck around, and Bolo Brown has nothing else to do but come and smack him. After two rounds of racing, James Ironbeard has a commanding lead with eight, and now Boxer is in second place with four. Well, these other drivers better be careful because James can quickly let things get out of control with a commanding lead. We've got Bolo Brown on the inside, James Ironbeard, Boxer, and Incount is on the outside lane, and Boxer has the lead, but no, now James surges down. He's got a good head of steam going into the Joker lane. Boxer makes his way around, and Incount is not far behind. I think they're gonna come out in the lead, and they do. This is critical. Look at, oh, look at Incount sneak on in. And, and now James has spun around, but managed to keep his third place position. Boxer's making his way methodically down. First place for him, Incount in second. There goes James in third and Bolo Brown in fourth. And that was a very nice run for, for Boxer. He's got the drift lane and that is his strong point. He comes in fast though, and look at how. Oh, that was a nice drift by Encount as he makes his way around. James is fighting with Bolo Brown. Look carefully as they make their way around, but James comes out in the lead on the Joker lane. Now, down the runway, Encount is trying to pull in. James is spinning around and our train cam catches the craziness. Somebody must have soaked up that runway. 
But no, Bolo is not able to get by James, and after three rounds of racing, James Ironbeard maintains the lead with 10, Boxer is right behind with 8. Those other drivers better get moving. And race fans, it's hard to believe this is the race before halftime. We've got in-count on the inside. Bolo Brown next to him. They will take the joker lane. James has got the catbird seat, and he's got a slight lead over the rest, but look at in-count taking and making good use. Down the joker lane, Owen, and James is stuck, and so is Boxer on the drift. This is an opportune time, ladies and gentlemen, as look at in-count, scream down runway three and around the big U. He's got the lead so far, and Bolo Brown is not far behind. Oh, but oh, in-count oh, wow. is flipped over, and he's not crossed the finish line. Here comes oh, Bolo Brown sneaking by. He's got four points for that victory. What a That's slick, the only finisher. What a slick move by Bolo Brown, but James here just hits the retaining wall with such speed and Boxer has no choice. He is stuck too. Unfortunately for Encount, after all of that, he has a rough go down the right edge. He gets tipped over and has nothing left to give. Bolo Brown pops up into second place. A second place tie with Boxer. Not that far behind James and ladies and gentlemen, it is half time. Hey race fans, ladies and gentlemen, we want to take a minute and thank you for all those times you've left encouraging comments and supporting our channel as we bring to you the best rally cross we can possibly do. We want to thank you, Aaron. What? You want to thank me? Well, Richard, you're half the fun in this gig that we have anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, Richard and I are excited to tell you all about Are You Truckin' Too? That's right, the second tournament. You're looking at nearly all of the competitors. Watch carefully, you're gonna see some familiar numbers and some familiar builders and drivers as we gear up next week to start the time trials. In fact, we're probably even gonna have the time trials on YouTube Shorts. We're gonna print them on shorts? No, not literally shorts. We're gonna have each time trial on a short video so everyone can watch them individually. And race fans, we're now ready. The second half of racing, the train is up and running. This means extra points for the outside lanes. That would be James and Bolo Brown, and James has the lead. Bolo Brown is right beside him, and Bolo Brown's gonna take the lead on the inside lane, and it looks like Incount has a good line as he is in the lead on the Joker lane. Bolo Brown has spun around, there's the white box car. James and Bolo Brown are well ahead of it. Two extra points for each of them, and they're looking good. Here comes Incount, trying to catch up to James. He can't do it. Bolo Brown has the lead. On to the scrambler he goes, he's maintaining a straight line, coming through in first. James in second, end count is crashed, and Bolo Brown will take third place. And race fans, we're going to slow instant replay right down here and show you just how consistent these finalists have been with their trucks, making their way over the Chavano Creek, and they have come into Mesa Butte awfully fast, but look at James in the black truck doing a great job. Now there's the white box car, and as you all know, that's two extra points if they make it ahead of the white box car. The other drivers are not too far behind. There's some bouncing around by James, but he has been very good today on the scrambler. Look at in count though as he spins around, topples. Now after five rounds of racing, the lead is now just one as James has 15 and Bolo Brown with 14. And I'm very impressed with Bolo Brown here as he has just held pace with James and even closing in. James is on the inside, ladies and gentlemen. Boxer's next to him. There goes in count in the third lane on the outside in the white truck is Bolo Brown who has the lead, but in count is taking the lead inside lane and James once again, a clear lead. Oh, look how fast he's going around the choker lane and Bolo Brown has crashed. There goes James as he makes his way. Oh no, he does not. He spins around and it's in count with the lead. Coming around onto the scrambler. Can in count maintain control and he he will, he, he has crossed the finish line, even though the timer has not stopped. He will get a first place. There goes James in second, and Bolo Brown, excuse me, and Boxer is gonna box his way into third. Chavano Creek has never seen such gorgeous jumping by the truck drivers until this final. Each of them so consistent. Now in count hits the retaining wall. Very hard, but look at Bolo Brown. That will be a drift. Worthy of two extra points, and neither of them cross before the white box car, and it doesn't matter in the case of Bolo Brown. A spectacular accident will end in zero points for him. Wow, we don't see that very often over the bridge. In count is challenged by James, but does a great job. And James spins out, but still comes in second place. There you see Boxer making his way around. Now, after six rounds of racing, Bolo Brown has 14. 
James is comfortably, well, well, not so comfortably, in the lead with 18. That's right, Aaron. Not too comfortable. Race 7 is coming up. Race fans, here we go. Race number 7, Bolo Brown's on the inside. James is next to him. Boxer's in the catbird seat, and it is in count on the end. Over the creek they go. And once again, James pulls out into the lead. He's looking awfully sharp. Bolo Brown is on the inside, and it's in count with a great drift. Here he comes around. He's well ahead of the white box car. So is Boxer. That's two points. James Iron Ironbeard had the lead. He's given it up now, and in count. Oh, and there's Boxer from last place all the way into second now. In count is on the right hand side, and he tips over, and it is going to be Boxer in first place. Oh wow! All the way from last, and James is stuck. And Bolo Brown is coming in second. What a development. They are stuck, ladies and gentlemen. That is amazing. Just when we thought James had a comfortable lead, look at Incount. Oh, what a great pass as he drifts beautifully. James is so fast. And there goes Bolo. It looks like everything is cruising well for James until he hits the runway. And now watch Boxer in the blue make his way from last place. He navigates around the big U and then catches up. Boxer always seems to find his way around the carnage. And we're going to take a look here at the scores after seven rounds of racing. Boxer has pulled himself with six more points up into a tie with James. Bolo Brown is only one point behind, ladies and gentlemen. This is a nail biter. Race fans, can you believe it? Here we are, the very last round, and James is not 10 points ahead. In fact, look carefully, oh, watch on the outside lanes. It is, oh, and, and James is out. Oh my goodness, and Bolo Brown has the lead down the joker lane. Here comes Boxer. Remember, Boxer can get extra points for crossing the train, and he will, two extra points. He is looking great, ladies and gentlemen. Here he comes around, he's well ahead of, of Bolo Brown. Here he comes, down the runway they go. And, oh, there's a collision. And everyone has come to a stop. That is amazing. It's a quadruple DNF. Who would have known? Bolo Brown and moreover Boxer would be that close to winning this whole competition. Ladies and gentlemen, watch as James has some trouble right over that little ledge, stuck in the snow, as good as dead. But then, around the big U, Bolo gets aggressive and Boxer is not able to finish. We are going to have a restart. And race fans, at this point, James Ironbeard is just counting his blessings. He is in the catbird seat, lane three. Again, Boxer's on the outside. Those two have a chance for extra points, and there they go. James has a great start. And there's Boxer right there, and Bolo Brown is pulling up. But no, James maintains the lead. He's got the inside line. He's looking very fast, and a great drift. Oh, and it's, it's Boxer that punches him, punches him through. There's the white box car. One point for him and one point for Boxer. They're making a way around. Here comes Bolo. And Bolo is not able to pass. James has the lead around the big U. Now James on to the scrambler. Is he going to hold tight? He spins off through the finish first. Bolo Brown in second, and it's Boxer in third. Okay, and while Richard catches his breath, all you math whizzes, stay tuned. We're going to work all this out. But first, there is a wonderful drift by Boxer. In fact, good enough that he was able to finish. Let's take a look now at real speed as Bolo Brown makes his way, and he's ahead of end count, but you can see he is working very hard to try and keep up with James. Here they come. Now watch carefully as he tries, tries, tries to pull in beside James, but James is just too fast. Ladies and gentlemen, after eight rounds of racing, the preliminary scores put James Ironbeard two points ahead of Boxer, three points ahead of Bolo Brown. And race fans, we still have the best performing drift to figure out. On the upper left is James Ironbeard, upper right is Boxer. Lower left is Bolo Brown, and lower right is in count. Watch them carefully. We have five independent judges affiliated with Diecast Racing independently giving their votes. And here they come. Each, each has one, and it's, it is Boxer with two votes. He will get two extra points, and we have a sudden death in the making. And those five judges were definitely some big names in Diecast Racing, but we are not allowed to give away the names. The first to two wins is going to be our season four champion. And here we go. James is on the main lane because he was the higher qualifier and had the most first place finishes. And so far he's got the lead. There is a real wild trampoline bounce and here comes Boxer around the Joker lane, but it looks like James is maintaining. Yes, he does. He's got a really sizable lead down runway three. I think James might be collecting his first win in sudden death. Let's see how he does on the scrambler. And he, oh, he flips it, rolls it over, but he comes through one point for James. Here comes Boxer. I'm convinced Boxer is going to finish the next race. The question is, now they switch lanes, is James going to be ahead? 
There's the green light, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, nice, nice start by Boxer. James is pulling up in front of him, though. And James looks great as he makes his way down the Joker lane. Boxer's drift is pretty good, but look at James already screaming around. He's a little bit ahead. I think he's going to come out ahead. We'll find out, and he does. Boxer is trying to stay with him. James is looking good. Is this going to be it, ladies and gentlemen? Is James going to be our Season 4 champion? He is spinning around and coming through. Oh, a wonderful time, a 24.220. And that time is good enough for Mr. James Ironbeard to occupy the third fastest time on the track. The bronze medalist of season four is Bolo Brown with Miniature Car Racing. Congratulations, Bolo. Our silver medalist is the previous champion, Boxer from the Maker's Box, and James Ironbeard is the gold medalist. What a day it's been. And I wanna just take a minute and thank all the drivers for showing up and for in count. Your fourth place finish is very respectable. Aaron! Are you trucking too?